So this is a solution we use for the Faco, the Indosol. I don't add anything to it, I use it as it is. So what I do in the beginning of the procedure, this is, I'm gonna use 0.5 ml of this mix of 1% xylocaine, uh, added to it the phenol 10 in the dilution. So one phenol 10 uh, minimum, in addition to five ml of the xylocaine preserved free. That's, so this is at the beginning of the procedure, that's for freezing. At the end of the procedure, I will use the moxifloxacin, this is preservative free from out long sandals, and I use one ml of that to inject at the end of the procedure. I inject it inside the chamber, around the lens, and in the cornea, and splash all around. And in the droplets cases, the moxifloxacin, triamcinolone mix is injected in something like that at the end of the procedure. Uh, preservative free xylocaine, so this is the preservative free xylocaine. I'm going to add to it the 10% phenol 10. Okay. I'm going to use 5 cc syringes here. So, what I do here, okay, so let's take this out. Simple a syringe. Here you go. I'm going to start by taking out the phenol 10. It's usually dispersed in the minimum, so what I do, I just tap it down to collect it down in the bottom so not to lose any. Move it up with the starter, move the cap, and slowly go into the tip while sucking so you don't lose any drop of uh, the phenol tent. So, this is the whole phenol tent that's using the minimum. It's about 0.5 ml. And this here it has 3 ml, no, it's 5 ml of 1% uh, preservative, preservative freeze out of game, and I'll take it all out. Okay, there you go. So we have this xylocaine 1%. I don't put, don't put xylocaine or any additive to the, to the VSF. So the VSF that I use, the endosol, as it is, I don't modify anything this one. I just do the addition at the end of the procedure for the antibiotic and the phenol 10 and the xylocaine uh, 1% uh, preservative free. And the, so this is the beginning of the slide, yeah. Okay, and this is the end of the So I'm going to prepare the moxifloxacin. We use the droplets part uh, into the camera. So these are the moxifloxacin uh, from Sandoz. You can use the Alcon, but make sure it's preservative free and don't change the types because otherwise you can get into tests. You need 10 cc syringes and this 15 ml VSS. So I open this. This is good for two syringes. I'm going to open the Moxie. I'm going to take off the cap, take off the cover so you can easily get it out. Open the 10 cc. Open the cannula. And there you go. So I'm going to take the 3 ml of this here. So that's 3 ml. Open the VSS. I'm going to take 7 ml to the 10 ml. So this is 10 ml. Do that again. Second syringe. Take this cap off. This here. We'll take the moxie. Take it all out. Oh, I'm going to take 7 ml of the, uh, of the VSS. This is 15 ml bottle, so it's good for two syringes. Okay, take some more. Here we go. So now we have, we have four of these. So these are Per patient, I use one ml, so this is good for 40. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 40, I'm gonna do 30, but spare uh, just in case. Thank you for watching.